Hi, Hi fellow birdies. birdies. Welcome back to another edition of Slumber's Eating Show. I'm Crystal, and this is my husband, Charles. And today, we're doing a special collaboration with Michaela Rose. She's a really sweet girl who I love watching vlogs and just trying out different things and you know showcasing what's out there in the world so if you haven't already be sure to go check out her channel in the link in the description below and she did a karma ground as well with a few of, of her friends and family so i can't wait to watch the whole thing you now, already did watch the whole thing so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah she sent me a preview of her video i watched most of it and i'm really impressed by her quality so. and it was hilarious <laughs> highly recommend it I'm going to be getting probably the crispy kernel big box sandwich, um, you know, the Nashville hot sandwich, the coleslaw, secret recipe fries, I haven't tried those out yet, you need to. And um, what was the other thing? Oh, popcorn chicken. That's quite a list. And I don't know what he's going to get yet, but we'll find out soon. So are you ready? I am ready. Well, let's go get something to eat. <laughs> Welcome back to my KFC, we brought y'all one outside our field today. Understand? Okay. Sure. What do they got? All right. I have the number one, the number five. I have the number fourteen, red. I have the number fifteen, pat pat. Uh, I have the number sixteen, the finest bowl, and I have the number nine, three piece tender meal. Actually, you know what? I think I'd rather get like a. Ooh, can I get the drum and two piece drum and thigh combo for the fill up? All right. Number one, drum and thigh. You want the original crispy grill? Original, and I also want a crispy kernel sandwich. All right, what's your drink on that combo, sir? And I'll have the. Uh, is this out on the same ticket? Yeah, this is gonna be on the same ticket, ma'am. Uh, I, I'm. I want to get a, a crispy kernel box uh, with the, the, the uh, Nashville hot crispy kernel. Yes, ma'am. What's your drink? Um, Diet Coke, and I want my sides to be the secret fries and coleslaw. Sounds good, ma'am. All right, this house is going to be 18, 53. All right, thank you. All right, let's go get some food. That's actually less than I thought it would be. Hmm? That's actually less than I thought it would be. Oh, mm -hmm. I just asked you to mask the cat. <laughs> he likes my mask. <laughs> Yeah, it says they have restaurant hours. Yeah, they do. Alright, thank you. Thank you. I guess that's mine. I don't know who that is. Well, my, I got the sweet tea. Ah, sorry. You got a different container for that, I guess? Oh, no. Oh, no, it's a Diet Coke. I guess it's a Diet Coke. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Here's yours, sweetie. Yes, I call him sweetie. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Alright, let's go find someone to park and we'll eat. Alright guys, so we are finally back with our food. It took a little while to set up here, but hopefully this will work and you guys can see. They forgot my popcorn chicken. Oh well. I might get for it with a cookie. And I got the secret recipe fries. Now I haven't tried these out yet, but they recently just came out with these like about a month or so ago. And they're replacing their potato wedges with them. Are these regular fries or chicken fries you said? These are, um, these are just like secret recipe fries. It tastes a lot like, um, probably like pie gas. Okay. Yeah. A little bit salty. They're not bad. You ready to get started? I am. Mmm. Not cold slot. Go with my biscuit. I haven't had coleslaw in a long time. Hmm. Thing with today's video is going to be just talking about childhood memories and stuff, like you know, some things that we grew up with and like some memories we have growing up. So I'll let my husband start. Is there anything in particular you remember? <laughs> I remember that I was really into chess when I was growing up. When I was you know, yeah, you see really into chess. Especially for my school tournament, which I you know, always competed in, I never quite won, but I always came in like second or third. And one time I got really unhappy because basically I was ahead by half a game, so basically all I needed to do was draw to win. And I'd studied the rules of chess and knew that if you basically repeated the same move back and forth each player for like three moves, it's called three move repetition. Mm -hmm. It's a draw. Mm. 
So I did that. I've My never, opponent. I've never played that. I know it's pretty rare in you know low level play. But basically, the you know, um, chess coach said although it's a legal move and basically would win me the tournament, he said you know, they're not playing by that rule. <laughs> And I wonder if it might have been because I was playing... I'm trying to, was I playing Sun at the time? I think it was. Possible conflict of interest? Don't know. But I was very unhappy there, because I ended up losing that game, even though I should... And like, basically, by the rules, I should have drawn. Yeah. I remember, um... That I, was, I was pretty competitive when I was a kid, too, but, like, when it came to video games, for example, um... I never really played fair. Like, when my dad would play with me, every time it looked like he was going to win, I would turn off the game. Hmm. I wonder who I'm still Evan. Unfortunately. <laughs> Although, he's getting better about that. Yeah, like, Evan, when he plays games now, it's like, he doesn't, you know, give up. Um, although he still asks for help a lot, but he doesn't like, you know, um, it's like, oh, let me win, or just like, you know, turn off the game, or act like he just wants to quit. So, his sportsmanship is getting a bit better, I feel like. Yeah. Mm. Okay? Uh, that is yours. Oh, this is... Oh, I didn't know. I'll let you know. Because mm. <laughs> it goes good with biscuits and gravy anyway. A lot of childhood memories I have are particularly with my grandma, especially, and I've talked about them a lot, but, um, you know, just being able to kind of reminisce about them a little bit, I don't mind doing it over and over again, but, like, a lot of times, um, we would cook, you know, cakes and stuff together, and she had this big white bowl on the counter. I know mean, we'd add the flour and stuff to it. She made home cakes from scratch. And um, she would always have me hold the mixture <laughs> and mix the stuff while she added in the eggs and all that. And like, I kept telling her, my arms would get tired. <laughs> but then she made the best lemon apricot bunt cakes. And, um, I'll tell you guys, like, if she, she were still here, she would be making a, a feast of brownies or something similar like that. Yeah, I remember her, some of her, the sweets she made. They were delicious. Mm hmm For me, it was always my mom that, you know, had me help her in the kitchen with her, you know, when she was baking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially when it was cookies. I'd always, you know, want, like, a big, you know, spoonful at least, or maybe even a bowl of batter. <laughs> The dough, sorry. I know, like, I remember when we were making those cookies, I would often eat the dough, too. Especially when I was pregnant. Um, that was a good pregnancy craving. <laughs> but yeah, like, it's one of the secret things that's best about, you know, making cookies. You get the best part, because mm -hmm. the dough beats the cookie every day. I guess some other memories I have as a kid, too, um, will be like, you know, we would go to Disney World a lot, my dad and I, and um, I've actually been to Disney World like, I think three or four times in my life, but it's been quite a long time. But, we would always go there, stay for about a week, and then come back. One of those years, we actually managed to get a hotel, I think it was like some sort of themed hotel or something, I don't remember what the theme was. But it seemed like it had to do with um, different eras of music or something. Hmm. So we stayed there one time. I will say one of those times I went to Disney World, I actually ended up getting sick, and my dad extended the vacation for a few more days just so I would, you know, have enough, you know, time to spend there. That's awfully sweet of him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see now. What's a good one for me? Oh, I used to be really into, like, Pokemon, you know, trading card game. Like, I really built this, like, gosh, was it Grass deck? Mm -hmm. 
you know, I did pretty well on, you know, at the store, but then they started coming with new Pokemon cards, and I got out of it. <laughs> yeah, like, I started getting into those when I was in, like, first grade. They started having them at the, um, in the classroom. Like, what are all these cards you guys got? And I started trading cards, and I learned about Pokemon. Like, the weird thing is I never even heard about it until I, I saw those. Like, it was just unknown to me completely. So, I really had no idea. Now, the one thing I regret with for Pokemon is, for some reason, all the games are on, you know, you know, Game Boy, you know, Nintendo DS, Wii, etc. Like, I'd love if they just had a, you know, a computer game. Like, imagine playing against other players online, you know, your computer. Indeed, like, like back then they didn't really have that too much, um, they didn't start developing that right away. That's some really good stuff, guys. My power is messed up. <laughs> The secret parts were good, but I wish they weren't going to be getting rid of them and you know, your potato wedges because they're replacing with that. This doesn't make sense. The potato wedges are the classic item, right? I imagine it's because they have limited space on that, you know, billboard thing. Mm -hmm. We're going to get ready to try our sandwiches. Like, look at that. Ah, oh, it's a beauty. And he's got the original. So, you ready? Three, two, one. Mmm. <laughs> that is really good. But my hands are messy. <laughs> the pickles do have like a, a nice touch to it. But like they're kind of messy. But I like the mayonnaise at night. So this is definitely a good trick on sandwich. We're actually trying out a new one. I think in Orlando right now, it's supposed to be like really bigger or something. Let's see now. Any you know, more fun stories from you? One more story I want to share with you guys is um, back when my husband and I first started talking with each other, um, he got me into, I was in video games at the time, he got me into World of Warcraft. Yes, I have my World of Warcraft. <laughs> so much that counts as childhood. like. When you're in your 20s, it doesn't really count, I feel. It does. <laughs> I mean, technically, by that time, I was in my, you know, I started when I was like 20 myself, mm -hmm. about five years before you. I started playing Burning Crusade. Like, I had heard of World of Warcraft before he got me into it, but like, I never had really thought about playing it because it costed about, was it $15 a month? Mm -hmm. Which I still think it does, but you can get to like um, level 20 and then you have to pay for it. So it doesn't take you too long to get to level 20. Mm -hmm. I used to be really big into arena you know, raiding in that game. I actually deleted a raid guild at one Mm-hmm. Like, he and I would um, stay up late at night playing raids together and stuff. I mean, I will admit there is some times I still miss doing that because it was something we could do together. But, uh, you know, when I was, became a mom and, and stuff like that, I sort of just, like, lost interest in games. But, I mean, I might get back into it in the future. I don't know. Well, if you do, we have more time because I'm here with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Let's see now. Then there is. Oh, I should tell them about this. I also, apart from Pokemon Training Card Game, I also be, used to be really into Magic the Gathering. Mm -hmm. There was this one big term as a Grand Prix in Charlotte, which is like a few hours away. And I persuaded my dad to take him there. In return, basically, I said, Yeah, I had to get some of my wisdom teeth extracted. And what I told him is, to pay for it, do it with only light anesthesia. Oh no. <laughs> that had to hurt. It did. It was the worst agony I've ever felt. I literally begged my dad to kill me. <laughs> at first, then I, you know, calmed down. <laughs> well, at least that was not suicidal, right? Like Well, <laughs> I didn't kill myself. I was asking him to kill me, so it's kind of a bit. Oh. <laughs> 
but then um, I went to the tournament and lost because although I'd carefully played the deck, I'd played it online where the basically online it's you know faster to play. The time limit is based off of each individual person gets a time limit. Whereas offline it's not practical, so it says a time limit for, for both players. So that cost me at least one game because I missed the time limit, mm -hmm. even though I would have won that game. Yeah, I remember Prime World of Warcraft. I still got my profile in there. If I want to join back, I was a. I am a mage. I love magic. Um, I love like being far off the distance and just casting spells and stuff. He's more like a person who just sort of likes to run in there and beat everybody up. Not quite. I'm the tank always. <laughs> that means that not more like I run in and have everyone beat me up, while my beautiful wife stays safe on the side and doesn't get hurt. What is accurate? Okay. <laughs> like, I really like playing, you know, both Protection Paladin and Blood Knight. Both of them are different types of tanks. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that's what actually got my original profile in before I changed to Mr. Songbird. Mm -hmm. Which I did because, simply put, it, you know, people were wondering, like, who's this random guy commenting? Yeah, they didn't know who S. Coacher 1 was. Now he's Mr. Stomper, everybody knows him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all the time we have for today. We had a really great meal. We're going to save these cookies for later. Maybe one for little guy if he wants it because he loves cookies. And <laughs> we are so glad to share a few more stories with you. So if you haven't already, be sure to click the red button down below to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell to receive notifications and also Please check out Michaela Rose's channel. She's such a sweet, awesome girl, and I had so much fun doing this with her. I hope we can do more Mike Bars together again soon and get to know more about each other. But anyway, this is Crystal and Charles. Sonia. Bye, birdies.